What is going on, my friends? How is everyone doing today? I hope you guys had an amazing holiday, however which way you celebrate it. Um, today's date is December 28th, 2020. My name is Ryan Williams, and we are back with another episode of Market Mondays. Actually, today marks our 10th episode. What a milestone, guys. So if you are new to this channel, maybe watching some of these videos for the first time, Market Mondays is a weekly video series where I show you exactly which stocks I'm buying for the week. Now, usually every week I'll invest $100 into the stock market, and with that I'll buy, you know, maybe one, two, sometimes three different stocks. Today I'm only gonna be buying one stock, and I will be investing all $100 into EPD. All right, guys, now before we get rocking and rolling in today's episode, here's what we're gonna do. If you wouldn't mind doing me a quick favor, please, and just send in that like button all the way to Timbuk2, make it blue, and now that that's taken care of, without further ado, let's get into it. All right, now before we go and buy $100 worth of EPD, I wanted to just run through um, what this company is, what they do, and why I will be buying it today. And on the screen right here, guys, we are on seekingalpha.com, just looking up EPD, checking out their profile a little bit. And as you can see over here on the left, um, EPD is currently sitting at $19.64 per share. So right off the bat, we know we're gonna be able to buy about five shares today um, with $100. And in my opinion, Opinion, this is not a bad stock to invest in right now. As you can see over here, EPD is down about 30% for the year, which to me suggests there's a lot of upside potential. Um, so that's one of the reasons I'll be buying some more of this stock today. Additionally, I think the company is great. I think they're headed in a good direction. And most importantly, I think they pay a fantastic dividend. So scrolling down here just a little bit, guys, um, a little bit about EPD. I'm just gonna read from the company profile here. Enterprise Products Partners, provides midstream energy services to producers and consumers of natural gas, natural gas liquids, crude oil, petrochemicals, and refined products. The company operates through four segments, NGL pipelines and services, crude oil pipelines and services, natural gas pipelines and services, and petrochemical and refined product services. So in a nutshell, guys, EPD provides energy services across the country, and it seems like they specialize in natural gas, crude oil, petrochemicals, stuff like that. I don't know a lot about those individually, but I do think the energy sector is a good one to get into. I have a couple other energy stocks in my portfolio, um, ExxonMobil and Chevron CVX. And for me, this is a good third energy stock to add to my portfolio. Now scrolling up to the top, let's hit this dividends button right here and check out the dividend scorecard. So currently EPD has an 8.96% dividend yield, which is extremely high, okay? I'm used to buying stocks in like the two to three to four percent. In addition to that, their five year growth rate of their dividend is uh, is over 4%, which I'm happy with as well. And real quick, a little side note on the growth rate, guys. Sometimes, and depending on where you're at in your investing journey, the growth rate of dividends can actually be more important than what the current dividend yield is. Just something for you guys to keep in mind, the dividend, the current dividend yield is not the end-all be-all. Remember, um, we like to buy into stocks, buy into companies who increase their dividend over time and continue to do so. And so with that said, it is important to take um, a variable such as this into consideration when buying stocks or buying companies. Okay, now moving on, um, another reason I'm really stoked on EPD, at, especially as it relates to their dividend, is because they are almost a dividend aristocrat. They have four more years. And um, for those of you who do not know what a dividend aristocrat is, it is a company that has increased their dividends for 25 consecutive years. And as you can see right here, EPD is just about there. They have four more years to go. They have grown their dividend for 21 years now, which is awesome. And going over to this dividend history right here, guys, let's take a look at this chart all time. This is exactly what we want to see. We wanna see these dividends going up and up and up. It's just going like straight up over time. And so, so this type of um, slope is exactly what I like to see when buying into a company that pays dividends. So wrapping this part up, guys, these are just a couple of reasons why I'm investing into EPD. I think it's gonna be a good long-term play, um, especially if they continue to 
pay out their dividend and increase their dividend over time. And to be honest with you, I'm really not super concerned about um, how down or how up they are in the last year and the last five years or so. Another thing to keep in mind, I mean, when a, when a company is down and you are buying into it, it just means you're gonna be able to buy more shares of that. Um, what we're really after with stocks like this or with companies like this is not so much capital appreciation in the share price. We are really just after that consistent, secure cash flow that grows year over year over year. And at least so far, it looks like EPD checks all of those boxes for me. And that's why I will be buying it today and continue buying it in the future. Unless things change, then I'll, then I'll reconsider, you know, but for right now, I think it's a good buy. All right, my friends, now that we have covered all of that, let's actually go into Robinhood and buy some shares of EPD, okay? That's what we came here to do, right? So let's open up Robinhood, see how we're doing. Okay, nice. So um, for starters, my portfolio is currently sitting at just over $8,900. And for the day, so far, I'm up just over $50. When I checked it earlier this morning, I was actually closer to closer to 100. Like I was up almost $100 for the day, which is nice. But honestly, I'll take anything in the green. It's all good. All right, so now let's scroll down and find EPD right here. Um, like I said earlier, it's sitting at $19.65 per share. So we're gonna be able to buy just over five shares of EPD with our $100. Currently, as far as my position with EPD goes, I have almost 14 and a half shares at an average cost of $20.75 which is good because investing $100 into it today where the current share price is lower than my average share price, that's going to decrease the average cost of my shares, which is good. All right, so to buy these shares, let's hit trade, buy, $100, review, okay, 5.08 shares. That's what we're getting, just over five shares. And let's swipe up. All right, very nice guys, just purchased five shares. And after that, I have almost 20 shares now. That's nice. And it looks like the average cost of my shares dropped down about 30 cents, if I remember correctly. It was $20, 70 something cents. All right, awesome guys. So now that that's done, let's move on to the next step. All right guys, now that we have bought those five shares of EPD, the next step is gonna be to go into trackyourdividends.com, make some adjustments and update the portfolio based on that purchase. So what we're looking at here, I'll give you a little summary. This is my current portfolio, same information that's in Robinhood. And currently my portfolio has a 4.13% dividend yield and an annual dividend income of $364. So given that EPD pays like an almost a 9% dividend, um, I know that this 4.13% will go up pretty substantially. I'm gonna guess it'll go up to maybe four point, I think it'll be in the 4.2s, maybe 4.23, 4.24%. Let's say 4.24%, that's an easy number to remember. 4.24, and I think this annual dividend income will go from $364 to maybe $371. I think it'll go up about six bucks. Um, so 4.24% and $370. Okay, now let's make these adjustments here. Scroll down and find EPD, hit edit. And then I just need to switch out this data with the new um, updated information. So I don't have 14 shares anymore. I have 19.53934 shares at an average cost of $20.47. So remember guys, like I said, it's once I hit edit, it'll show us um, the updated numbers for the portfolio. And I think the dividend yield will go from 4.13 to 4.24% then I think this $364 of annual income will go up to $370. So I don't wanna look quite yet, but let's hit edit real quick. Did it go? Thinking, okay, it went. Now, time for the big reveal. Let's see how it looks. Okay, so I was off on both of these. So the dividend yield did not go up as high as I thought it would. In fact, it didn't even hit 4.2%. So I was a little bit low on that. And in addition to that, I was a little bit low on the annual income as well. I thought it would be 370, but I'm actually pleasantly surprised to see $373 of annual dividend income. You know, in truth be told guys, it doesn't matter a, a lot where these numbers lie, as long as week after week we are taking steps forward, 
we are progressing, even if those steps are baby steps. Because over time, as I'm sure you can imagine, those will compound to be big, giant steps, um, or in this case, a lot of annual dividend income. So that's why we do this, guys. It takes time, it takes patience, it takes consistency, but in the end, it is all worth it, okay? And $373 might not sound like a lot of money, but a couple things to remember, I don't have to do anything to make that income. I can just sit on my butt and collect that cash flow. And in addition to that, probably, I'll have to go back and look at my first couple Market Mondays videos, but I don't even think my annual dividend income was in the twos. I think it was in the ones. You know, so just in a, a matter of nine, 10 weeks, I've substantially increased my annual dividend income. And so these baby steps are already compounding, which is really good to see. All right, guys, well, that pretty much wraps it up for this episode of Market Mondays. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I really, really appreciate it. And I hope you got something out of it, maybe learned a little bit about EPD. And with that said, guys, leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think of EPD. Maybe you have some information I don't. Um, additionally, let me know which stocks you guys are buying for this week. I'm always curious to hear what you're adding to your portfolios and why you're doing it. It's just, it's fun to talk stocks, to be honest with you. So, so leave me a comment below. Let's get a chat going. We'd love to hear from you guys. And with that said, if you haven't done so already, please, once again, hit that like button. It, it would really, really mean a lot. Um, additionally, hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on future videos if you haven't done so already. And now that that's mentioned, I will go ahead and get out of your guys' hair. Um, once again, thank you, thank you so much for watching. I don't know if I'll be able to get a video out before New Year's. I'm certainly gonna try. In case I don't, I wanna wish you guys a very happy New Year. It's been a wild ride this year, I'm sure for all of you as well. Um, but you know, 2021 is a new year. So thank you so much again, guys, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Have a great day.